Would you be open to just giving your experience of um, getting some freedom from urgency, stress, and pressure to actually step into coaching clients? So sure. just to give sure. a bit of context. Yeah, Amy and I've been working together and I thought she would be a good example. So you're not just hearing from me today, a good example of what can show up when we do get freedom from this space of over concern. Go ahead, just a few minutes. Sure. Well, I love that Suzanne, you spoke before. Uh, I completely related. That is, it was like you went into my mind. And that's my mind too. But I could do this, I could do that, I could do this, I could do that. You know, that's that's definitely my sense of urgency is that there's too many things, which like you said, grace is a good problem to have. Um, I think that's like probably the, the creative brain, the way it's designed. Um, and I think what I've noticed working with Grace is that like you said, the feeling and that it's like little bit little layers over time have gotten gone deeper and deeper you know the more that we've talked the more that I've worked with you um definitely it's the feeling and the inspired action I like I can definitely do things from urgency I can sit down and you know feel really tense and write this newsletter and sure some clients might come from that some people might book calls from that um but in my experience the the feeling of like catching myself in that, relaxing a little bit and, and just giving myself, slowing down, giving myself some time, um, doing what I need for myself, like just taking a breath or meditating. Um, it always helps me tap into the feeling that you're talking about, if that makes sense. I guess, I guess if I, maybe I'll give a, a more personal example, like I, I get into this, um, routine in the morning I can either I'll get up and kind of get right on my phone and go right into the rabbit hole of social media which is a very busy noisy place and that tends to also rev up my mind like just personally that's what going into Facebook and Instagram and these places do to me that may not be true for everybody and if I do that then I tend to go into a lot of the urgency and because I'm looking and I'm comparing you know this is what this coach is doing and, and I know we've Grace and I have spoken about that a lot, like too much input, taking in too much of what other people are doing. That's another thing that happened, been confusing for me. Um, so when I don't do that, when I just kind of get up, you know, do a simple practice, doesn't have to be a big deal, but a simple practice and really like tune into my body, my breath and who I am. It um, and, and just notice that like there might be a little bit of urgency, but I can, I can relax from that. I can notice it and you know go about go about my my day um yeah go about my day with without going down that rabbit hole then things come so much more more easily and with so much less effort i want to say and that's when i get the downloads too that's when i get the little nudges of like hey just go on and write this like a little little creative quote will come into my head or uh, a quote for a theme of a newsletter i want to write or uh, a, a live something I'm going to talk about on a live and it's, just, it's so much easier it's so much more in flow I, that's the term I want to use um, yeah and it feels a lot less like hustle and more like this is just natural let me just do this and there's no there's also not a lot of I don't have anything on it when that happens I don't have like you know my god six I hope six clients see this and six people sign up for this call that I'm offering you know like when I'm in urgency that's what I tend to do it tends to be like gripping on to there has to be an outcome and when I'm not in that urgency it's like it's all just keeps flowing through me yeah. and that yeah yeah I love that you said in flow I think that's really I think that really sums it up here you know it's because and I should have given some context. When Amy and I started working together, she was actually a yoga teacher traveling into New York City and exhausting herself every time she had to do that. And when she came to me, she wanted to transition into offering coaching to her yoga clients. So she was really making this leap from being seen as a yoga teacher to actually being seen as a coach on top of that and you know helping clients understand why they would 
go from or you know paying this for yoga to actually paying for coaching so amy has made that transition now into the coaching and is doing that in more and more and, and working with clients which is incredible no longer hustling into new york city to do a few yoga lessons but um in flow is the word i love that um i think that's really what this is about it's about you know really letting yourself be up for a business of flow really letting yourself be up for a business where you're in your life enjoying your day-to-day -day life and having a great business so often the mistake is people innocently you know being in their business and trying to build their business and hoping to build their business and then sort of making some room for life <laughs> No, 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 no. I'd like to help you take it in a different direction. Um, I'd like to help you see through today's webinar that these perhaps what you might call softer essential ingredients are the backbone to a great business life, are the backbone to a great experience of showing up in the world with your service and what you have to offer.